Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today will be special because I'm going to show you how I do this drawing. A lot has changed since my last tutorial. So I guess this is a great opportunity to do another tutorial today. Also, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe because I'll do another tutorial every 250 subs. So more subs, more tutorials. Okay, so first thing first, materials. I'm using drawing paper from Canson 1557 points of 8B standard pencils, 4B mechanical pencil, these are my razors, Tomona Zero knitted razor, brushes for blending, and I have a new tool, this is a makeup sponge. I used this to apply my graphite powder, and this is how I make my own graphite powder, by rubbing my 8B pencils against the sandpaper. Okay, so everything is set, so let's go ahead and draw. So the first thing I'd like to do is actually cover my paper with the gravity powder. I like to do this prior to the drawing process. And this step is really important to me because it accomplishes several things. I want to start my drawing from mid value. It means later on, I can darken my drawing with pencil. Or I can lighten the drawing using my eraser. If I don't start with gravity powder, then I can only use my pencil to draw. Because obviously the paper is white, there's nothing to erase, so I like to use both my pencil and my eraser to draw, hence the gravity powder. Another reason is because it's super tedious to shade with pencil, so I prefer to use the makeup sponge to apply the shading. It's faster, just swipe 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 and it's done. It looks great too, as you can see here, it looks super smooth and not too dark. Even though I'm using graphite powder from my 8P pencil. The drawback of using graphite powder is that it could be very messy. So just be ready to wash your hand a lot. And be careful not to smudge the paper. And another drawback is that I won't be able to create super dark values using a sponge. And it's near impossible to create details. So I still need my pencil to do those things. So once I'm happy with my mid value. I then begin sketching the general shape of the face using my mechanical pencil. And I like to use my eraser to sketch my highlights. I don't like to sketch too detailed too soon. As you can see here, my sketch looks horrible. It's super okay. The most important thing here is the placement of the subject. Once the sketch is done, then I'll begin drawing the facial features one by one. I'm using a mechanical pencil to draw small details, and if it's not dark enough, I'll switch to my 8B, and this is very important that I use a sharp pencil. The sharper the pencil is, the better. So usually, I'll just sharpen a lot of pencils at once, so I don't have to resharpen it in the middle of my drawing session. Also, as I mentioned earlier, I use my eraser to draw highlights. I don't use my eraser to erase mistakes. That's a very important concept. There is no mistake in drawing. You just have to back and forth creating values using your tools. If it's too light, then you darken it. If it's too dark, then you use your eraser to make it lighter. You go back and forth until you find the perfect balance in your drawing. So after I finish the eye, then I'll move to the next one. So I guess my drawing approach is different from anybody else's. I draw one thing and really try to finish it, rather than moving a lot. This is because, in my opinion, when it comes to realism, it's best to focus in one small area rather than doing everything a bit here, then move somewhere else without finishing the previous area first, then move again. I don't know how everybody does it, but when I move a lot, I tend to forget what I need to do in the previous area. Also, it's easier to compare the drawing and the reference and find differences if it's a small drawing. Rather than comparing the whole drawing, then it'll become so confusing to fix if I have a lot of mistakes. Also, what I like about this approach is that rather than finishing the whole drawing in one sitting, I could just draw only the eye on Monday, then on Tuesday I'll draw the nose, so for people like me, who don't have much time to draw every day, this is actually perfect. 
And also, I think it has something to do with psychology. When you want to draw something, which one is easier? Drawing the whole face at once, or just drawing small things like a nose, for example? Of course, it'd be easier to draw just the nose because it's more simple. It's like playing music. Which one is easier? Playing the whole three movements sonata, which has 10 pages, or playing a small section of music, which is only eight measures long, right? So my one tip is to divide the drawing into small sections. Draw one section at a time. Really take your time and really focus on it, so it becomes bearable and manageable. Right. So after I finish drawing the facial features, it's time to move on to the hair. So the hair is, I think, the most fun thing to draw. People tend to hate drawing hair, how to make it look real, blah blah blah. But I think it's way easier than drawing the face. If you think for a moment, the face you need to draw super accurately. Otherwise, it'll look weird and unrealistic. But the hair, you don't have to draw exactly like the reference, and it'll still look okay. The only thing that matters when drawing hair is values. You only need to render the value correctly to create a realistic looking hair. I see drawing hair as an opportunity for me to explore my creativity. When it comes to drawing a face, I need to do it super accurately. And when drawing the hair, I switch to creative mode. So to be honest, I enjoy drawing hair more than drawing the face. Also, as you can see here, I'm also developing my background as I'm drawing the hair. Really, I go into full creative mode here. Using my eraser, I try to create interesting shapes around my subject. And once I find something that looks interesting, I darken it a bit with my pencil to strengthen its shapes. This is so much fun, rather than just copying photograph, trying to draw exactly like the photograph. I don't really enjoy drawing like that. I prefer this way and really explore my creativity and create interesting abstract shapes. As for how to draw the hair, I first draw the darkest dark, then I use graphite powder to create my mid value. It's really important to create a smooth transition between each value. And then the last step is rendering the highlight to make it pop using razors. But I think it's best to do this in another tutorial in more detail, otherwise the video would be too long. So don't forget to subscribe, there will be another tutorial every 250 subscribers. Meanwhile, this is my new music composition, Wanderer. Enjoy the music. Thank you.